Hey guys, up it's Artie here, Old School Duel with all coming at you with a deck profile of my Quantums. So, Quantums, are they good? I think Quantums are really good. I think they can take on meta. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I really, I really, 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 I cannot stress that enough how much I like my Quantums. My Quantums, to me, are amazing. Ah, I cannot stress that enough how much I love playing them. I'm so glad they are a thing. Yes, the Power Ranger deck. Mm. Let's jump into the deck profile. Now, obviously, you know, we're going to start off like normal, you know, playing three of the Red Ranger. You want to play three of the Red Ranger, personally, I've seen people play only two, but I like three Red Ranger just because you need, at least the way this deck plays, you need to see the Red Ranger as fast as possible because he's the hardest one in the deck to get out. Uh, yeah, you could just drop him, but you still want to see him as fast as possible. Uh, you want to see all of them as fast as possible, but the Red Ranger, to me, I don't know why, but I just I can't see it enough. Uh, in my old deck profile, you know, when the ban list was not a thing, uh, ah, that's such a disgusting ban list to talk, like, I don't even want to talk about it, um, but yes, Red Ranger is amazing, oh, it's awesome, it's, it's, I love it so much. Now, he has two effects, all of them have two effects, his effects, um, if special summon, or no, if no more special, you get to uh, add a quantum card, a quant, a super quant card, right? Yep, just a super quant card from graveyard to hand. And yeah, that's really about it. But if you sent a grave, you can special summon a super quant monster from graveyard to field. But its effect is negated. Uh, that is a bummer, but it actually does go into a lot of good combos. Super quantum green. Now, you want to play three. You're playing three of all the quants, just saying. Of all the super quants, layers, the mofos. Play three of all of them. Just telling you that now. Green is amazing because it is like a Satellar Vega, basically. If normal is special, uh, you get to normal summon a Super Quant from hand, which, again, can play into pretty broken-ass combos. If you send to Grave, you can send a Super Quant card from hand to Grave and draw one card, which uh, is an iffy type of thing. I've been put in situations where I'm like, oh, I need to draw, but at the same time, I need this card to stay in hand. Uh, Super Quant Blue. Uh, yes, the blue one is the searcher of the deck. Uh, if normal special, you get to search a super quant card from deck to hand. If sent to graveyard, you can target up to three and uh, shuffle them back in the deck. Now, something I do want to add, you want to have at least uh, one of each in grave. So if you have multiples, uh, never, I honestly suggest never to have uh, alpha to sit in grave because alpha is amazing um always try to have one blue layer in grave and at least one blue layer in deck because the blue layer is what keeps the deck going uh so it is very important to keep one of these in grave and one of these in deck the next one is super quantal this is a really awkward one because all of them are quantums this is super quantal fairy alpha alpha is basically uh, a what do you call it it is your uh, revealer I don't really know there's not really a cool word to for these guys but its effect has two effects and you can only get one either tribute it to and send it to graveyard reveal one of each super quantum monsters uh, super quantum monster sorry my bad no it is super quant one super quantum monster or three super quantum monsters with different names and uh, shuffle them up and your opponent randomly picks one the one that the, your opponent picked gets summoned, the other one gets sent, the other two get sent to grave. And that plays into our effects hardcore. Um, its other effect is you can target one super quantum monster on feared, on feared, on field, and every monster on field becomes that level. Now, uh, something about its first effect, the tributing effect, uh, it has to be three with different names, which means you can pick itself. Uh, which is, you know, actually worked out for the best sometimes. Um, it's a rare situation because I'm always getting blue shuffling back in. But for the most part, I always have one of each in a deck. Uh, that's it for the Super Quant Monster Engine. This is now the uh, 
the the random engine that I like to play uh, that helps me out. Uh, here's a card I honestly never thought to play in the past or in my first build. Actually, is a really good card to play now. Uh, Volcanic Shell. Now this card is a very gonna warn you now for some reason this rare card is like two bucks, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but Volcanic Shell is a really good card because if it's engraved, you can pay 500 life points and add another Volcanic Shell from deck to hand, which is amazing because you can obviously, you know, play it with, uh, any of the, with the, the field card, your twin twisters, uh, your one for ones, anything like that, that needs ditching. This card is your go-to card as well as this card. Perform Mage. Trick Clown. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. But Trickon is also a really good card to play in the deck. I play two of it. Because this card is sent to graveyard, and you can special summon it from deck to or from grit. You can target a perform mage in graveyard and special summon it. So it's really awesome to go into your fours really easily. Uh for the ditch or anything like that. Uh and also I play Perform Mage Hat Tricker. Hat Trick is awesome because again, fours. Just to go in go into your uh, Arab Orbis, Orbis, I can't, the green Zord, uh, it's going to go into that a lot faster, that's why I run these two cards, because you can go into the four, plus any other random fours, Hat Trick Clown, or Hat Tricker, sorry, Hat Tricker, effect is, if you uh, have two more monsters on the field, that you control, you can special summon this card, so boom, there you go, blue, uh, blue and green, special summon, boom, you got your Orbis, and that's one less card you have to ditch from hand. Also, if your opponent would uh, inflict damage, uh, effect damage, you can place a card, place a counter on this. Uh, I rarely use that effect, that's such an awkward effect. You can, yes. Uh, during the player's turn, when a card or effect that would inflict damage to you, place a perform mage counter on this card, max 3. Uh... When the third perform mage counter is on this card, its attack and defense of this card becomes 3,300. I've never done that. I've never gotten that far. Uh, but the effect is there. Uh, definitely don't count on it ever happening. Uh, Gem 9 Emerald. Emerald, whatever you call it. I say Emerald because it's funny. But Gem 9 Emerald. I play the one Gem 9 Emerald just because uh, the Gem 9 Emerald. Uh, I do run Brilliant Fusion just to give you a forewarning. Uh, it's definitely, you can play any Gem Knight monster. I just prefer Gem Knight Emerald because my favorite color is green and emerald. Uh, well, not and emerald, but it's, my favorite color is green. Emerald is a green stone. So I was like, you know what, why not? It has no correlation to the deck whatsoever. So why not? So one Gem Knight Emerald. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. And it's also, I try to keep it to fours because if you Norden, you can Norden the Emerald back and overlay for four if you really need to. One star drawing uh, to go for the four or the five plays, and it's also draw power. That's really about it. Oh, uh, and one card trooper. This card, um, I, I don't know. I some people told me to run mathematician. Some people told me not to worry about the mathematician at all. Someone even said, "Hey, run foolish burial." I was like, "No, I won't." I like card trooper. Uh, only reason why people want the di the the send the grave effects is to go off with their effects. Yes, I could play the Mathematician. Yes, I could play the Foolish Burial. But I want Card Trooper because I can send up to three. It's any. It's just a, It's the top three. So that's really it's just kind of chance at that point. But also to draw power and I can get a level three monster on the field. Yeah, you could Mathematician, no problem. But uh, who gives a shit? So that takes about it for the monsters. So we're going to move on to the spells like usual. So for the spells... I run three Super Quantum Mech Ship Ma Magna Carrier. Yes, the field card. You want to play three just because you need three. Because if it hits field, people are more than likely going to try and get rid of it. And you need to see it as quick as possible. I play two e Telly, Emergency Teleport. Um, it used to be three, uh, but now it's only two. But Blue Layer more likely will be active at all times. So... Don't worry, Itali is either a good ditch card or it is a good uh, special summoning of stuff on field. I play two Brilliant Fusion. Uh, the first one is always okay. So, <laughs> reason why you only here's another reason why you only play the one Gem Knight. Um, 
I saw someone run two Gem Knights, but you just saw the Gem Knights more often, and it was dead draws. Um, Brilliant Fusion, I'm still indifferent about the card in general playing in the deck. Yes, I get a second normal summon. Yes, I can over use it for fives to get the uh, Magna Liger out faster. But if you draw into the Emerald, it's a dead-ass card, basically. I mean, yeah, you can use it for ditch power, uh, but at the same time, it still can be a very dead card. So, again, I'm very iffy about the deck, or about running it in the deck. Uh, so, yeah. The next card, I play two Twin Twister because Twin Twister, uh, the ditch, you have more than enough cards to ditch. So, Twin Twister is amazing, plus you can get the target of two. I play one Terraforming because it's just to search out the field cards fa faster. I used to run in my old deck profile, which is still up if you want to go see it. I used to play three of these and three chicken game and two terraforming just because it was broken as shit i play the one one for one uh only go for the fairy if you summon a uh, volcanic shell why um you have again more than enough monsters to dish for this so why not i play also the one reasoning reasoning is still a very good card to play because of all the mill power and yeah, that's really about it. Um, the only downfall is if you get Volcanic Shell on the field. That is literally the only downfall of the deck. Or none, basically, Volcanic Shell and none of the non-Quantums. Any of the Quantums. Any of the monsters that aren't Quantums is really very dead. Instant Fusion. Uh, amazing. Summon Norden. That's really about it. Summon Norden. Go for your uh, rank 4 plays. One Soul Charge because Soul Charge is amazing. Uh, it literally can set up for a game. Literally, I've done it tons of times with Soul Charge, so Soul Charge is amazing. I play the one Upstart Goblin because that's all I can run. I used to play three, but now I can't play it at all. And lastly, but not lastly, but not least, I play three traps: the sword, the Super Quantum Mech Sword, Magnus Slicer, Magnus Slayer. God, that these monsters are just so hard to say. These these Super Quant cards are just so hard to say. One Treacherous Trap Hole because. I run three traps, and it's such an amazing card to play. And the one Vanity's Emptiness, because I want to stop special summons. I've locked people down before. You play that and the, the Megazord, you just drop for game, basically. And no one says no one can say anything to you. All right, moving on to the extra deck. You play two Super Quantum Mech Beast Grand Pulse. Grand Pulse is amazing. It is an MST of the deck. Now, you also want to play Super Quantum Mech Beast Oribus. Ouroboros, or Oribus, whatever you say. It is a Book of Moon of the deck. It's also, they're, all these are generics. So literally, if you can get two threes on field, boom. If you can get two fours on field, boom. If you can get two fives on field, you can get Super Quantum Mech Beast Magnus Sliger. Ugh, oh, such an awkward-ass card to play. Or, again, the Super Quant, as soon as you put Magna in the name, ugh. But anyways, you play two, and if you get two fives, boom! Super Quant, but he is a just pop monsters type of thing. Uh, now you play one Super Quantum Mech King Great Magnus. If you really wanted to play two, just to save on time, uh, I guess you could play two, but I I always at least go into more than one, but always try to keep a blue attached to him if you do use the effect. Um, always try to have a blue layer attached to him, because then if all three goes to Grave, uh, if it's destroyed and you special summon your, each of your three, blue goes to grave, which means you can shuffle this right back in the deck. So he's always alive. If you don't have a blue, I really don't know what happened. I also play one ghost trick Alucard just because I can overlay for threes and you can just blow up your set back or your opponent's back row, which is really scary to go up against. One trap trick Reflusia because Reflusia is amazing and you can uh, go for the treacherous trap hole a lot faster. One, Castell, the Sky the sky Blaster Musketeer. Oh my god, I, oh, reading all these names is so hard to read. But yes, one Castell because you want to bounce stuff. Plus, also forget that you can detach one and basically it's a Book of Moon. Also, play one Abyss Dweller because Abyss Dweller is really amazing in this format because of BA. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. One Cowboy because Cowboy for game. 161. Volcasaurus because uh, I can go for fives and why not? I used to play uh, the Gaia Charger or yeah, Gaia, yeah, the Thunder Charger, or whatever. Uh, but I took it off with Alu card because I wanted to blow up stuff. Also play the one Gem Knight uh, Surf Surf Knight because Surf Knight is amazing, gives you another normal, and that's really the only Gem Knight fusion you run. 
That's why you only run, you can run any Gem Knight monster. Also, one Elder Entity of the Norden, or Elvzen, it's just one Elder Entity Norden. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Moving on to the side deck, your side deck can be whatever you want to play, but just to give you a general idea of what is good if you're a competitive player, I play two Creature Swap because I can get deal with Cosmos like that, uh, take their Dark Destroyer, call it a day. One, or two, Forbidden Graveyard because I want to stop Graveyard, if Graveyard effects are really that annoying. Uh, two, Spell Shattering Arrow, uh, I kind of want to knock this down to one when I get another Light Imprisoning Mirror, but I play, I side deck two for now. Just because of pendulums, yes, I have the uh, twin twisters. But if pendulums and face-up spells are a really big problem, spell shattering arrow is definitely the way to go. That's why I don't want to take it out of the side deck completely, but knock it down to one, uh, just because. Uh, like I play one light imprisoning mirror uh, because light imprisoning mirror is really good to play uh, for satellers. Uh, two shadow imprisoning mirror because also good for Cosmos, because I don't like Cosmos. I hate Cosmos. Um, two Light and, or two Shadow Imprisoning Mirror for when you face those really ridiculous, really ridiculous uh, Dark Decks, plus also uh, BAs, because I hate BAs. Uh, two Imperial Iron Wall, because of Quantum, or not Quantum, Cosmos, the other space deck that you don't, like, want to face, because they're just ridiculously stupid. Uh, two Master Strict for when you go against Monarchs, because Monarchs are stupid powerful against this deck. So your Master Restrict is definitely your answer. And two, Royal Decree for those hardcore trap decks and Satellers because people still play Satellers. That is it for the deck. Hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. I'm so glad they came out. And yeah, that's really about it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my other videos. And all the links to description. All the links to the description. All the links to social media are in the description below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to check out my video game video on Friday. I really can't tell you what it is because I don't even know what it is. Uh, yeah, and also check out I Will Be every Saturday. I'm thinking of something to go with. Every Saturday, new series, I Will Doing News. It's called Just Let Me Complain. But yes, don't forget to check it out every Saturday starting this Saturday. Uh... Gonna say noon like normal, just noon. That's kind of what I just centralize all my uploading dates on. But every Saturday at noon central, uh, you will see my new news called Just Let Me Complain. Now, thank you guys, and have a wonderful, beautiful night day thing, or whatever.